ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another manual graphics tutorial. Today in this tutorial we'll be working on how, in, um, how to achieve this simple camera technique in uh, Blender. So we'll just be working on some simple depth of field today. So as you see, we're just using our camera um, properties to change that this is in focus and everything else isn't in focus apart from this and um, around it. So yeah, that's just basically what we'll be working on today. So you're going to open up Blender as you always do. I'm just going to drag mine over and as I always do, I'm just going to resize it. Okay, so we're just going to quickly set up the scene. So I'm just going to um, scale this scale this down in like so and then I'm going to top view and I'm just going to subdivide it in edit mode do we have something like that then I'm going to hit A on my keyboard and then I'm going to hit B to select the top vertices the side vertices and click to release just so if you didn't know then I'm going to front view and just lifting them up there we go so we just got a simple room here just delete them okay we're now going to add a simple UV sphere with the shading on smooth and just going to front view yep that looks good and I'm just going to position the three Like so. And I do believe that is sphere two, sphere one, and sphere. Now we're just going to add a camera. You can press Shift F to fly around. Like a flight simulator. I just learned that from someone who posted a nice comment on my video. Q and E to go down and up, and that looks nice. I'm then going to um, go into my camera, I'm then going to add a lamp first. I'm going to add a sun lamp, bring this up, top view here, I'm going to rotate it the x axis, like so. Then I'm going to bring it up, rotate on the z axis, and Change this to the cycles render zero point three, and uh, that's looking nice. Now let's just sort out our render settings. So we want to render at a hundred samples and a um, hundred percent resolution, and then we'll just leave it there because this is just the camera property we're going to be working on. So, to get this depth of field effect, we want to go down to the depth of field panel. We want to first focus on sphere. Let's focus on sphere one. So, that'll be this sphere. We're then going to set the radius to something like 0.2. Now, there's loads of different aperture options and stuff like that. And we're just going to be clicking render, see what appears. As you see, everything's blurred, but oh, sphere one over here, over here, that's the only thing that isn't blurred, which gives us a really nice effect. Now you can dim this effect out using them um, by turning up and down the size and um, stuff like that. But that's basically how you achieve this simple depth of field effect that can really change your models. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial and I shall catch you in my next video.